Uh, I wanted to be this very to back with another deck review. Today we're looking at the latest from David Blaine, the Private Reserve Skull and Bones decks. All right, so this is a new Private Reserve from David Blaine. It took over a month to get here for some obscene unknown reason. Uh, the front of the box has a gold foil pip with an eye in it. Kind of traditional David Blaine. More or less the same talk as he's using some other decks. There's also a new uh, VIP version of this deck out there that I believe you can get from Card Jane Arts by spending a couple hundred bucks. I'm like, no thank you. Not just because it says VIP on the bottom of the box and slightly shiny or whatever. Eh, not my cup of tea. Um, opens from the front, of course. There is the, his logo, trademark logo on the flap and foil. On the one side, you get his logo as well, and the other side as well. Four pips on top, and the bottom, Expert Point Card Company Private Reserve. And in the back, you see the back design in gold foil, very nice and shiny. It's just a skull and bones back. Uh, I believe the reason why we're seeing him produce more decks for Expert Point Card Companies as of late is because he is apparently on board of directors with Conjuring Arts, and that's why he gives them away there as well. And Conjuring Arts, of course, is basically joined at the hip to expert playing cards. They produce every deck through there. They represent expert playing card company. Um, uh, they are expert playing card company, basically. They That is uh, their brand, printed by Taiwan playing card company, but just like Legends and whatnot. So that is why he's pointing deck through there. Even the quality could be better. The Jokers look like that. It's a skeleton. It's got a clock in its brain. It's also got this thing. And the other one is mirror image. Or it's a reverse image. They kind of go together if you want. And they're like, I don't know, being stabbed in the head with something. It's just drilled in the head, whatever. It's kind of weird. I don't really get it, but it's pretty cool. It's different. The backs have a metallic gold ink, I believe. Just a skull and bones back. By the way, there's been way too many of these decks. Uh, skull and bones, particularly from Conjuring Arts, so I'm getting a little bit tired of them. The Ace of Spades features an eyeball. The court cards, they are modified, recolored USB-C court card. Nice metallic inks, I think they're metallic, especially the gold. A nice red colorings and blue colors and they've modified the faces at least on the majority of them just like you would expect in a David Blaine deck so overall it's a nice deck I like the colors on the court cards that one's got a two diamonds reveal as usual that guy looks angry <laughs> and of course these are designed by Mark Stutzman as usual as well I think the number cards fairly straightforward the cards have kind of your typical expert point card company finish, almost a smooth finish, even if it is embossed. They didn't specify the stalker finish. Handles pretty good. But could be better, obviously, if it was, you know, USB C or something. I also don't know how many of these were produced. However, I can tell you as of the recording of this video, crap. <laughs> As of the recording of this video, we won't ignore, won't ignore that. The cards on the ground. Magic. I just, I, all your cards are now disappeared from the deck, right? You selected some cards, they're gone. Um, what was I saying? I don't even know. <laughs> oh yes, I don't know how many were produced. However, as of the recording of this video, they are still available on his website. So perhaps not that limit, not that much of a private reserve. A couple thousand maybe. I don't know exactly how many. But that is that. They're an alright deck, but they're not too exciting, unfortunately. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Really, I would not recommend spending the money to get the VIP edition. Uh, it's not worth it. If it was a different deck, like the Dell deck, like they did before with the Microsoft deck, maybe. But for basically a slightly different tuck case, slightly signier cards, I don't think it's worth it. So that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.